is race six of season five of the Marble Rally, the time when we have a repeat winner for the first time this season. We'll have to see, maybe it'll be a first time winner, maybe it will be another different podium. We've certainly had all of those. One thing we've been a little short on is good weather. And I'm glad to say we have that here today. Hello everybody, I'm Greg Woods. You see the starting lineup with Ghost Plasma up there in the center spot in a pretty good position to leave the starting gate from pole. Nemo, Dragon's Egg, Black Knight, Blazing Fireball, Crazy Cat's Eye, Marbly McMarble Face, Cobra, Pollo Loco, and Blizzard Blaster rounding out the top ten. Several of those are in the upper part of the standings as we have our final race today before the winter break. So finish strong and carry that momentum into the vacation We'll see you back next year. Ooh, Cool Moody was one of a couple to get a really slow start coming off of the ramp, including Lollipop, our winner from the previous race. It's Black Knight at the point, leading things away with a decent gap in front of Crazy Cat's Eye, Cobra, Nemo, and Blazing Fireball. Here comes Crazy Cat's Eye to the left, a little block, and can't get by Black Knight this time. Falls back now into the clutches of Cobra, Nemo, and Dragon's Egg fighting back there for fourth spot with Blazing Fireball in the mix as well. I think possibly uh, Ghost Plasma too. A little look to the outside is not there for Crazy Cat's Eye. So Black Knight is going to hold on to it. Nemo stalking the two of them as they trundle along. And now we get our first look at a lead change there. A nice dive bomb move for Crazy Cat's Eye, but loses it right after the chicane. Dragon's Egg in the meantime took the bottom line and has moved up into third place. Crazy Cat's Eye saw the lead briefly, decided, I want some more of that. At the end of Sector 1. Black Knight in second, Dragon's Egg, Nemo, Cobra, Ghost Plasma, Summer Sky, and Marbly McMarble Face. Contact here, and back and forth, they're scything between them. Black Knight now holds on, but only just. The top three separated by three lengths. A hard hit on the wall drops Crazy Cat's Eye to fourth. That gets Dragon's Egg up into second. A superb opportunistic move by just staying clean. Now Dragon's Egg and put sights forward and look at Black Knight, but this time opts to go the same route as the leader, but that's gonna be the slower line. The top lane is much faster, it appears. Where are they gonna cycle out? As they come back together, for sure, it's Nemo. Black Knight, Dragon's Egg, Crazy Cat's Eye went the bottom route and all lost out because of it. Nemo fighting with Ghost Plasma, who takes the top spot. Back and forth they go. In the bottom third of this course, Marbly McMarble Face in third, our last race winner, Lollipop, in fourth in front of Pollo Loco as we hit the end of Sector 2, and it's a very different looking sector rundown than we had before. In fact, Crazy Cat's Eye, look at over there, Crazy Cat's Eye and Cobra are all down in the bottom, they're last. That is incredibly surprising. Oh, we saw it just at the side of the screen there. I think that was Cool Moody has come to a stop at race control saying that Cool Moody was dislodged. Still going again. Ghost Plasma up front, but losing a little bit of speed. Is that going to let Nemo back in this? The gap staying fairly equal between them. Now it's coming down. In the run to the line. Ghost Plasma tries to stretch it. Misses the speed boost Chevron, but catches the second one. And I think that's going to make all the difference. Ghost Plasma comes around the final turn. Here comes a big charge from Lollipop into second place. Ghost Plasma gets the win. Nemo second. Lollipop third. Well done also to Comet, Marbly McMarbleface, Pollo Loco, Super Ball, and Blizzard Blaster. Look at the gaps here. 13, 14 seconds for this field, but thankfully we did not have any DNFs. That's exactly what you want to see, and hey, that was a good run for the Ghost Marble as well. Cool Moody recovered from that stoppage, still to finish in the top 10, but for Ghost Plasma, been consistent all around, sitting in third in the standings. And uh, you saw these fights early on, didn't even really have to pay too much attention to them if you are Ghost Plasma, who right now I believe was sitting back in fifth or sixth. But look at the difference in speed from the top to the bottom lane. You wonder how much homework was done and if that decision was made purposefully or if it just happened that way. They just found themselves on that upper line and reaped the rewards. Well, Ghost Plasma's reward means moving to the top spot of the standings, picking up another win in an illustrious career. Cool Moody and Super Bowl round out the top three. We'll see you 
in the new year. Thanks for watching, everybody.